This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Yeah, so pay starts between 60 and 65 cents per mile. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Overlog Inc. Transportation. They are a trucking company that serves 48 states. They offer great service to company drivers and owner operators. They are here for you. They say when you hire with us, you want to retire with us. Of course, uh, you're uh, of course not a problem. So we we can hire currently a couple of drivers that are on set, but only the ones that are finishing their follow-ups. So you have the driver has to be on step six, finishing his follow-ups. Okay, so say for example, if 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 he is on step six, you guys are willing to bring him in to help him out with the return to duty status. No, no return to duty, only follow up. So he has to he has to finish his return to duty, and after that finish step five, and then when he's on step six, we can so we can get him aboard. Awesome, awesome. Uh, how much experience? How much experience do you guys require? Two years. Two years. Okay, so you guys, uh, you uh-huh. you guys won't be able to bring nobody, nobody brand new to the industry, like you know, coming out of school or six months or anything like that. Yeah, fortunately not, boss. All right, all right. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, pre-employment drug screening. What do you guys require? Hair follicles or urine or both? A urine test. Okay. Okay. Do you guys, I, I see you guys run, uh, multiple lanes, but do you guys do Canada? No, we don't. All right. Uh, now is the pay variance. All 48 without Canada. Oh, okay. Is the pay variance different for a SAP driver than a regular driver that's not in the SAP? And if so, what's the mileage pay? Um, so the pay starts between 60 and 65. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. You say what now? Yeah. So pay starts between 60 and 65 cents per mile. And after that pay, you know, grows. Oh, okay. Okay. 60. And that doesn't matter if they're in the, in, in the SAP or or regular drivers that's coming in with the experience yeah like driver has to it needs to have two years of experience and then we can hire him the the year the experience doesn't for example if the driver with two years and with 22 years receives the same pay that's what you're asking gotcha gotcha all right all right um is this uh 1099 or w2 this is 1099 all right, so I will be coming in if I'm interested. I will be coming in as a company driver, but up under ten. I mean, uh, ten ninety nine uh, requirements, right? Would I have to? Would I have to pay for the truck? Or, exactly, boss. Okay, would I have to pay for the truck or any escrow or anything like that? You're not paying for the truck, boss, uh, since the truck is company. And uh, escrow, there is escrow two thousand uh, dollars, two hundred dollars weekly deductions on ten weeks. All right, cool. Uh, what about what? What about fuel? Um, am I responsible for the fuel or no? No, boss. No. Um, the fuel and maintenance is covered by company. Since you're a company driver, we will provide you with the fuel cars, though, so you can fuel up. But that's on our expense. You're not covering anything. The only deduction that you have is escrow. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, so if if myself or anybody that's interested in coming, uh, would getting up there would be my responsibility or would it or would it be for you guys to help get so, me up there? Yeah, sorry. So we will reimburse your travel expenses up to two hundred and fifty dollars on first paycheck. That's the flight accommodations or any other way that you'll travel with. But uh but we will we will provide you a lift or an Uber or 
hotel room and drug test uh, straight up here. So we will take care of that, but you'll have to come here on your own first. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. What about um? All right. What about the trucks? Uh, what 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 trucks I'll be in? Do you drive automatic or manual trucks? I can drive both of them. All right. So we have uh, currently Cascadia 2019 automatic, um, and we have a couple of camboards and also uh, two Cascadia's manual with 10 speeds. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, now, as far as as far as breakdown and everything like that, because a lot of a lot of drivers in my group uh, complain about companies not uh, taking care of their trucks. How often do you guys take care of your trucks? I mean, do you guys keep them up so that we can keep running and making money? So we do uh, three times a year annual inspections. And as far as uh, other checks and other services, it all depends. But yeah, we, we, we do check our, uh, our trucks and trailers. So every time the driver drops off the truck, for example, and stops driving for us, uh, before the new driver comes aboard, we check that. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what about your pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my rider? Uh, you, we we don't allow pets in our trucks, um, but we do allow riders above the age of 16. All right, cool. Uh, do you guys have some type of sign-on bonus or anything like that, or no? No. Uh, the only bonus we have is safety bonus after after successful um, duty inspections. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much. I will definitely take this information back with me. This is some great information uh, that I will take back with me to my Facebook group. Uh, and again, you guys do help SAP drivers, but they have to be in the step six or step five or step six part of the program, right? Yes, correct. Step six would be ideal. Step five, it all depends, but step six, we should be okay with it. Very good, sir. Hey, thank you very much for the information. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye-bye, man. Take care. Overlog Inc. Transportation. <laughs> yes, sir. They are out of Illinois, and this is one of the companies that can and will help you out if you're in the SAP program. As you guys heard, he did say that preferably step six, but if you're a fiver, you're good. They be able to get you in and you will be able to work with this company that this company will work with you through the program. Uh, they are 1099, no W-2. So of course you're responsible for all of your responsibilities per 1099. Uh, can I, do I want to say that this is a black ops company? Uh, I, I don't want to say this. Um, is it a predatory company? I, I don't want to say that either because when they posted their information on Facebook, they was pretty much open with all the information that they was given and the guy over the phone, shout out to the recruiter. He was there, he didn't, he didn't shuck, he didn't jive, he was straightforward. So shout out to him. So again, like I said, not all black ops companies are bad companies. I mean, if you have some blemishes in the background or if you're in the SAP program and all these other companies are not willing to work with you, then, you know, maybe a handful of these companies like Overlog Inc. will be able to work with you. Uh, starting is 60 cent to 65 cent uh, loaded or empty. You can average about 3,000 miles a week. After about three months of working with them, the pay rises to 75 cents. What? Yes, that's what it says. 75 cents after just three months of working with them. 
but again realize that this is 1099. Uh, they have detention, layover, and extra stop pay. They got 24 hour dispatch, no forced dispatch. So if you don't want, well, you know, if you're a 1099 driver, I, I don't think you should be forced to do anything, especially if you're a 1099 driver. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, brand new trucks. They also have manuals. So if you're interested in driving a manual, they do have a couple of trucks that are manual. Uh, live loads and maybe a little bit of dropping hooks, but it's mainly live loads. So Overlog Inc. Yes, this company is SAP friendly. So if you guys are in the SAP program and you're looking for a company to get with that will give you a second chance, Overlog Inc. Transportation will probably be the one to help you. If anybody drives for this company, Overlog Inc., let us know in the comments below. Let us know your experience with the company, whether it's good or bad. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? next, next, next.